Brian, we're hearing a lot from service providers at the moment about edge computing. It's, it's one of their few key to service and business areas, and yet we, we, we often we don't hear a lot of specifics. Do CSPs really understand the edge? Yeah, it's a great question, Guy. So, so the edge for com service providers has existed for a long time. This is not a new opportunity. However, you need to look at, at the edge as not necessarily a physical location, but a, a, a way of managing, processing, and storing data mm. and, and optimizing it for service deployment. So comm service providers have been looking at the edge as a really good opportunity in the upcoming 5G era, where they can change from a really focus on CapEx and OpEx savings around the network with NFV into a monetization strategy. Um, and that's a big challenge for the industry because they're quite a traditional in industry, as you know, and the revenue models are generated from voice and data. Isn't the edge really just cloud computing? Uh, the edge is more than cloud computing. Um, the edge is bringing the cloud, cloud economics to, to enterprises, for sure, absolutely. But if you take the likes of a CDN, for instance, a CDN is an edge deployment that exists today. People say, well, what's the killer app for edge? I mean, CDN is there, right? It's monetizable today. And CDN is about positioning data close to that, or you know, media close to those, those consumers. However, when you combine cloud economics and you combine the, the technology that's coming from the cloud and even from enterprise, like analytics and insights, now all of a sudden you have a more powerful service, right? So therefore you can say, hey, is this something that I can monetize in a different way than I did previously? When you say CDN, this is a, a content, content delivery network. Content yeah. delivery network, right. Um, so rather than have a limited, a small number of CDNs, what, you'd have a proliferation of smaller I, CDNs? You, you would distribute your CDNs. So at the moment, you would distribute CDNs to certain locations, um, and then they would then serve the, the, the consumer or the enterprise alike. In, 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 in a way where you combine the value of NFE and the virtualization value of NFE and CDN together, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden you have a more intelligent CDN network. To me, that is a really obvious um, edge um, service that can be deployed today. I'm very critical about some of the edge use cases we, we hear about, but video, mm. personalized, localized content, advertising, that seems a no-brainer, that seems a really obvious example, but we, we don't seem to see much progress in that area. There seems to be too much focus on Things like the autonomous vehicles, mm -hmm. some industry use cases. I think I think there's three three lead um, sets of use cases. There is as what I believe the lead one, which is media and, and video and, and everything that comes with that. Then there's industrial and, and, and possibly retail as well. Um, the, the latter two are a little more nascent um, and they're a, bit, a little bit more difficult to implement and it will take longer period of time. Um, we're really focused on the media, media as a lead use case for Edge because we really believe that the technology is there today. Mm. For instance, um, if you take a, an average service provider who's already implemented NFE, um, what if they were able to take that same instance, that same compute instance, that same architecture, and use it for media applications that are traditionally run on GPUs, for instance? Mm. Wouldn't that be amazing reuse of, of investments for today? So by focusing there, we're showing value in transferable um, architecture from one application or one function on the network to a media application, then positioning that on the edge to optimize the service deployment as well. Oh, is it a danger that sometimes we get a little bit uh, fixated with the low latency capabilities uh, when we look at 5G? Because we often talk about 5G and edge in the, in the same yeah. sentence. Um, true applications and services that require ultra low latencies might be thin on the ground. It might be, mm. might be very, very few in number. Um, so, so rather, rather than, than, than do that, we've, we've got to treat the edge We've got to look different, be a bit more broader in how we approach the edge. So, if we only focus on latency as the key driver for edge and 5G, then we're doomed as an industry. Um, there are certain applications that will require ultra low latency, and they will happen and they will reside on the edge regardless, right? And they will be the focus. There are tons of other applications that don't necessarily need that ultra low latency, but could be best positioned on the edge for other reasons. Um, I, I spoke about I spoke about media earlier on, and and when you look at the you garnering insights from the from those media applications, mm -hmm. and you position those on the edge, um, the power in how you compute that data on the edge of the network gives you a value to your customers. In other words, take for instance a, a typical over the top application like Netflix. At the moment, you go onto your Netflix application, you look at your videos, you pick the ones you want. What if you were able to deploy artificial intelligence to do some predictive analytics and what the trends are in, in between? certain demographics in the industry and uh, what you want so you get a more personalized service. To me, that's something that somebody would pay a premium for. CSPs lean heavily on the standards process in order to get the economies of scale, etc. that they require. But is edge computing better suited towards open source and relying on the cloud native technologies uh, that are we hearing more and more about? I, I think that it, traditionally standards and open source have 
have been separate paths. And at some stage, they merge, they converge. There's some really exciting things happening in the industry at the moment, and not just on, on edge, but across network in general. Um, the collaboration between GSMA and, and Linux Foundation on CNTT. What, like projects like the uh, common NFEI token? Common course. NFEI. And, and, and the idea there is that you're getting a standards body and an open source community collaborating on driving a specification into the industry. What that does, it gives um, the industry a, 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 an opportunity to baseline on a, a configuration and they can build upon it in the most optimized way. So what's your advice for CSPs looking to develop the edge? Should they be adopting a, an edge as a service model? So within Intel, um, we look at edge as a multi-segment opportunity. Um, you cannot just look at the comm service providers without also looking at the enterprise end users and the IoT uh, community as well, because a lot of these applications are going to be spawned and are going to be developed in a collaborative manner. Um, when within Intel, when we look at our edge strategy as well, we say, hey, okay, the comm service providers will deliver a service, but the content providers will create the service. Um, the cloud providers may maintain the service. Um, and, and then the enterprise will consume the service. So you can't have one conversation with comm service provider. So from our perspective, we're approaching it from a very collaborative perspective, bringing our 30, 40 years leadership in enterprise and cloud into the conversation with comm service providers and opening up the opportunity for partnership across the industry. Great, I look forward to hearing uh, more as, as it all develops. But for now, Brian, thanks very much indeed. Thanks very much, guys.